The clock struck nine when I did send that nanny. She promised to return in half an hour. Maybe she did not meet him. No, I must not think like that. Of course she has. Should Love's messenger not be as quick as the fingers of Benny Goodman as they run across his clarinet? That is, of course, why the nimble dove or the swift-winged cupid are symbols of love. Now it has been three hours since I first sent Nanny to fetch the words of my love. Yet that rock of ages is nowhere in sight. If only she were in her youth and as goofy as I, then she might understand the urgency. Oh, I hope that face stretcher of a nanny will hurry. Oh, finally, she arrives. Did you meet my baby? Tell me, what news have you? I'll send old Charlie here away, will ya? Scram, you suck. Nanny, I want the... Why are you so sad? If the news is grummy, please be pleasant about it. But if the news is ducky, do not be so unpleasant. Give me a break, you flapper. Can't you see that my feeble body is restless? My bones, my head on a trip, sure as summer. And of course you wait for me here in this rummy joint. Oh, if only you had my chassis and I your news. Uh, for crying out loud, calm down no, such viscosity. Can you not obviously see that my lungs ache for sweet oxygen? That's Holcomb! Uh, How can you be out of breath, but still have the breath to tell me that you are out of breath? Nanny, you're wasting our time. Lay off. Please, just tell me. Is the news the cat's pajamas or just flat out bad? I need to know. Tell me either, and I will be swell. Purple Saucy Romeo is an odd bird. His face is too good to be true. His arms, legs, hands, I can't even say anything about them. He isn't a darling, but he is disappointingly kind and soft. Oh well, I felt you got well, I guess. Wait, did you have any grow? I absolutely need to know this. Oh, I have had nothing to eat. Only these drinks have been able to keep me company while I've waited for the news of my Romeo. Ah, oh, my head needs to have gone to the sick. It's like I'm about to have a stroke. Oh, my bag is going to collapse. Well, oh, Nanny, I'm so sorry that you're in pain. Now, sweet nifty nanny, what says my chic? That graceful bird has said, like the cuddler he is, and a courteous, astonishing, and I dare say, an airtight gentleman. Egots, where's your mother, Timmy? She is at home, but how very odd that my fellow would say, Egads, where is your mother? Oh, mother of why are you so dilly darn impatient? You are slaying me, and this isn't curing these aching joints. From now on, you go to that bird was ever on your mind, flapper. What on God's green earth does my Romeo say? <sighs> Do you have permission to dash off to the church for the sweet confession? I do. You want me to lay it off? Fine. Then you should dash out to fire along the sacred church. That big time Romeo is waiting for your presence. And is soon to be life. Aha, I see you blush in the mirror to that bird. A heck you a blush on any news that runs in Romeo. I believe. So now you must hurry on to the church, my limping self, to grab a ladder for you to enter his arms. But now, I suffer for your needs, but soon the burning of being a wife will come. I have to stay here for some hooch. You should get going now to get married. Get a doll. That bird awaits. Oh, how gay! How swanky this is! Thank you, this news truly was worth it. Thank you, and farewell!